Hello Motor Rider World fans and yes it's finally time for another vlog on uh, living with a zero electric motorcycle. It's been uh, parked in hibernation for a while because of the, the, the bad weather that we've had. It's been rainy and cold. We even had some snow but I'm I'm pleased to say the sun has finally come out here in the UK. I didn't think it existed for a while there although there's kind of a beast from the east or I don't know what part of the compass that is coming so hopefully that, that doesn't uh, call upon me a little bit later but it is time to finally get out and ride on the Zero SRF machine once again this is the uh, naked version kind of the, the, the naked sports bike version that, that Zero have absolutely uh, enjoyed my time on that the first couple of rides although as I said there's still some adjustment that's needed to, uh, in, in the mindset more than anything and a little bit of the lifestyle and the way you ride it uh, when it comes to the electric motorcycles so uh, yeah I've got a nice ride actually planned this whole weekend I'm heading out to the experience electric UK, UK tour so this is something that happens every year in the UK in Europe uh, and over in America it's an initiative that Zero Motorcycles put together to do just that experience electric to try and get people who haven't experienced electric yet onto their electric motorcycles and just to see what it's all about just to educate um, the market a little bit more about um, Zero and the electric motorcycle range so excited it's about um, 143k ride 89 miles or something that I've got to do so this is the tricky part because I downloaded the Zap map, which is kind of your GPS for an electric motorcycle because it helps route your distance. You load your vehicle, it kind of tells you, yes, you can do the full distance on your bike or your car, and then it pinpoints charging locations on the way. So I could at 100% charge, which it is, and um, I could probably do the full distance on it, you know, if I just want to ride carefully, keep it in eco mode type thing and you know, sensible because it is open road riding as well. Um, but I don't think I want to take the chance because, again, just that mindset of, you know, on a motorcycle, uh, on a combustion motorcycle, when you 20, 30 k's from where you need to be and you realize, okay, I'm pushing it a little bit too far, you're more than likely going to find a petrol station a couple of k's up the road or, or somewhere. Not so much the case just yet with electric charging points, although Zap Map did show me uh, various points, as you can see here, where there were quite a few pointed out on the way. So I am going to stop at uh, the one that's available at Tesco's charge it up give it a you know an hour or so while well, i have a little bit of lunch charge it up and then head to my final destination in gloucester 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 i, I still don't know how to say it but anyway that's where the, the first leg of the experience electric tour here uh, in the uk is at a, a place called called the oily rag so yeah I'm, I'm excited to get out and not only experience um some more of zero's electric motorcycles but also to experience a bit of riding in the uk going to go see and experience new places for the first time so stay tuned and I'll bring you up to date with how my um, zero electric motorcycle experience has been um, over the whole weekend. So that is it. I have arrived at my final destination here in Glow, Gloucester, Gloucester, at the beautiful Mercure Inn, Bowden Hall. Really beautiful, beautiful place. What a way to end a great day's riding. Although I did have a couple of little hiccups, but nothing to do with the Zero SRF. As you can see, the bike is now completely filthy. And that is because just before I arrived at this beautiful place, I um, experienced hurricane prince harry it literally just belted down with rain and just completely drenched me from head to toe my backpack full of my clothes for the weekend are now completely soaked um 
so yeah that that was that was that added a bit of uh, unwanted entertainment but how's that for a beautiful view what a way to end a good day riding this bike so yeah got to my um my charge point in Sirenchester, i think it's called which is the capital of cotswold uh parked off at a tesco's extra there downloaded the the app for the charge point it took me literally two minutes to download the app load my card load five pounds on there plug the bike in and and let it charge well i walked up to um the mcdonald's had a quick bite to eat and an hour later came back and the bike was charged to 49 percent so 100 percent this morning when i left did 77 miles and arrived um at uh, sinchester at the charge point with 12 percent left of battery life so yeah i mean they they claim 89 miles um range uh, on 100 percent charge so yeah i think i probably would have got 85 had i had i pushed it listen i was by no means riding you know like miss daisy i i rode how i wanted to ride you know um close to speed limit stuff on the open highway um gave it some throttle some burst some thrust um from robot to robot on on those nice country roads so yeah i enjoyed the ride today and and got good mileage out of it parked it up as i said charged it for an hour got my 50 percent and off i went and it cost me just under three pounds fifty for that charge so not bad at all really not bad just loving that sunset oh taking the sun in to try and dry my clothes and dry myself off because got to somehow make those clothes uh, work for the weekend but anyway yeah uh faultless the srf it's comfortable handling's really good braking's really good it's just an effortless ride it it, it really is you know i you know still got that mindset where i keep looking down looking at every percent that goes down looking at every mile that goes down so again that 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 you know anxiety kind of kicks in still a little bit but uh, don't really have any faults on on the bike certainly yet so my mindset still needs to change a little bit but as far as the bike goes it's um it's performing fantastically well um so yeah that was a complete 89 mile trip done today uh an hour sidetrack just to get some charge and then thrust a chair through hurricane prince harry but i'm i have arrived safe and sound and now somehow i need to clean my bike get my clothes dry ready for experience electric tour this weekend so yeah i'm in gloucester today tomorrow i'm at oily rag for the first um event of the 2023 experience electric tour uk and then saturday we had filers motorcycles in bristol and sunday we had baffle house in pontypool i think it's called in wales so really looking forward to that and rode through some beautiful country roads today on this bike it really is a beautiful country to go riding and you know you just one minute you're riding through open farmlands where there's sheep and cows and you can just smell that manure infested fields around you and then then you're on the open highway and then you're back into these tiny little country roads and the ride in here to the mccure inn hotel was was also really cool so enjoyed my day riding looking forward to a good weekend just going to go dry off now have a good night's sleep and then carry on my experience on the um the zero srf but so far so good um the range anxiety still there still getting over that but as for the rest of the bike it's great effortless it's easy to ride it's enjoyable to ride and yeah enjoying my time